Today we're going to build a bridge in BuildBox 3 using the linker tool. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Uh, we're going to pick a 3D game. Let's wait for that to load. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go straight into the 3D world and this block here um, I am going to use as uh, as the starting point. It's kind of the launching platform uh, for our, for our bridge. Uh, let's get this on at about three, and we'll make it a bit taller. Uh, say three, maybe two. There, that should be that should be tall enough for us. Um, and we'll put that at two. We'll move that back a bit. Uh, right, let's call that platform just so we don't get confused. And now we want to add a another cube, and this is going to be for our planks. So I'm going to drag that in. Uh, we'll move it over here. Let's get it roughly in the right position. I'm going to use the scale tool to get it uh, approximately. The size we want and then I'll use the numbers to get it to get it exactly the size I want um, okay that's looking pretty good uh, let's move this up and we'll move it uh, where are we let's have a look and we'll move that back uh, what size is this two yep Zero, three, four, uh, and that one we'll put three. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Uh, let's just move that down a touch. Three point seven, three point eight, maybe. Okay. Um, right. So we've got our first wooden plank. Let's uh, we'll name it plank just so we so we know that's what it is, and let's go and give it a, a color. Uh, want a little bit of a kind of a wood color there, a bit orangey. That'll do. That'll do. Um, right. So we've got our first plank and what I'm going to do is we're going to view uh, view it from the side and if I just hit D then we're going to duplicate these a few times to give us a nice a nice starting point for our bridge and let's duplicate that as the that's going to be our other uh, our other platform kind of the other point we're going to anchor the bridge to um, so let's have a quick preview of that Ah, and you'll see the bridge falls down, which is fine because we haven't linked anything together yet. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to make it landscape just so we can get a bit of a better view of the, of the game. Uh, and let's update the camera as well because that view is no good, is it? Uh, here we go. Uh, there we are. That gives us a better a better view of what's going on now. Okay, so we've got the basic setup. We just need to link these things together now. So I'm going to select the first two objects and then hit link selected. And uh, if we come down here and have a look under, you'll see it's added a little ball uh, with two strings on. And this is to kind of live well, This signifies that they're linked together. And we're going to move the point to there. So that is the uh, that's going to act as the hinge point uh, where th where things are going to bend from. So we're going to do the same on each set of planks. We're going to work our way through, which is a bit, it's a bit tedious if you've got a long uh, selection like this, because we're going to have to go through and select the, the balls again um, to, to specify what uh, type they are. But we'll get to that in a second. Uh, right, let's just go under here and we can move that up. Okay, uh, right now if we uh, let's let's select each of these, uh, or in fact we could just play it and you can have a look. Um, that's not uh, that's not quite the effect we wanted, but you can see they're all now linked together. The problem is uh, the the two end points are not uh, are not anchored. Uh, 
to the ground, they're still dynamic. Um, but let's, uh, okay, well, let, let's fix that first. So these two platforms, instead of being dynamic, they need to be static. Uh, so if we play now, um, things, are, things are looking pretty good. Uh, so let's add a character to this um, because there is still a problem we haven't, um, haven't fixed with our 3D world. Uh, so let's drop this character in because uh, this will highlight because the bridge is currently set up these linkers are set up as points um, and it looks fine now uh, but if we drop a character on here um, off center you can see there you can see this demonstrates how the point link works um, and what we really want to do is have all of these selected uh, and then change to hinge instead of point because hinge is going to act like a door whereas point is more uh, if you were creating a rope or a chain and we want hinge so it kind of swings on one axis so now if we play that that is still not correct and that is because the hinge is on the wrong axis we actually want that x axis sometimes it's a little bit of playing around um, to get exactly what you want but there we go so the ball so it acts like a kind of more like a suspension bridge should act uh, which is which is what we want for our game um, i mean having it roll like that is pretty good if your if your game was more freeform it could be quite a fun game mechanic um, but for for this example, we do you know we just want the straight, um, a, a normal working bridge. So uh, I'm going to set up uh, some controls for our character quickly, just so that uh, so that we can move him around onto the bridge, and we can we can just check it works. Uh, this is not going to be anything fancy, just uh, straightforward left and right. So we'll call that left button, and this one is going to be our right button. Um, don't need that. Go back to our 3D world. Going to go to our character, and in here the controls we want to drag in uh, two UI buttons. So, uh, and that's going to be the left button, and this one is going to be the right button. And we need some movement for those, so we're going to use the move node. So when the left button is pressed, we're going to move. Uh, at a rate of 1.5 and we'll just duplicate that uh, and when and when the right button is pressed we're going to move uh, minus 1.5 now we'll check I think these parameters are correct the directions but let's have a look yeah so there we go so you can see left and right hand side of the screen moving back and forth there we go any rolls across the bridge um, now so that's all set up. There are uh, a couple of, before we wrap up this tutorial, there's, there's a couple of uh, neat little things um, you can do with regards to the mass. Now the mass is how heavy something is. So uh, if we made these planks that give them a mass of 10, you'll notice they're a lot more, uh, they act a lot heavier. Uh, let's pop those up to 30. So you can see they're a bit springy there. Um, but I'm going to leave them on two uh, and let's make our character heavier so let's if we put him up to 30 um, and now when uh, he goes on the bridge uh, you should you can see he's a heavier object and he moves um, the boards more uh, whereas we go back down to one you'll see he hardly he hardly moves 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 it at all so this is this is pretty cool the way you can set um, you can play with these physics uh, for, for these objects. Um, yeah, there you go. Let's uh, let's make let's go up to one hundred. Yeah, so it's it's pretty fun to play around with these things, and you can uh, you know have some get some good game mechanics going on. And I think this is it, this is something I don't often see in build box games, and it's a shame because there's there's huge possibilities with with these linkers, uh, lots of good stuff. All right, so I'm going to wrap up the tutorial there, and if you liked this um, 
this project, you can head over to buildboxacademy.com and download the project exactly like this. And you can see how it all works, play around and use it in your own projects. <laughs>